Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, some people are having a problem with the last Patch Tuesday updates. Uh, more and more reports. Of course, not everybody's affected. I am not. You could see here I've got my taskbar at the bottom. And it is probably due to some really specific configuration that some might have. But we have enough reports that it seems to be an issue for some. Uh, Reddit has a lot of posts about it. Uh, the Feedback Hub is starting to have a lot of posts about it. Microsoft has still not acknowledged that there's an issue with this. But if you're affected, it has to do with the taskbar at the bottom of your screen that disappears. It just leaves an empty space. And so you can't click on icons. You can't do anything. It's not there. So we don't really know yet why it's happening. It could be a very specific thing on some users' PCs. But um, until Microsoft acknowledges or fixes that issue, if you are affected by this, the best way to do it right now is to uninstall the update. And how do you do that when you actually can't see anything? Well, use keyboard shortcut. If you hold down the Windows key and the letter I on your keyboard, you will actually have the settings app pop up. And there you go to Windows Updates. Into the Windows Updates, you go to un Update History, and you will roll down to Uninstall Updates. And what you want to do is find the update for this um, uh, this problem, which is the KB. 5034765 so 5034765 is what you want to find and you will actually have the uh, possibility to remove it it's this one here that you could see um, it doesn't show here on my system because I have some other updates that have appeared but what you want to find in that uninstalled update is really this update, which is 5034765. So what you do is you click on it, you click the uninstall button, and Windows will ask you to confirm the action. You will click uninstall again, and then you restart your PC. Now it also means that your PC will be searching for that update again. Um, and if it's the case, then what you want is, of course, not to have it reinstall for now. So what you could do is click the pause update option um, and wait. Hopefully, if you have an issue with this, you could try to see if it reinstalls, if it, you get the same problem, by the way. But um, if it still you know, is an issue for you, uh, pause updates. Uh, hopefully, Microsoft will come up with some fix or some reason why this is happening. But once again, what you want to do is go into your update history. Uh, click the uninstall updates and here I don't have it but unlike me you should see in the installed update history that uh, you have KB 503 4765 and you'll be able to uninstall it it should fix temporarily the problem of course it also means you're vulnerable with some of the um, security issues which means just be careful what you do on the web and uh, we'll see what happens with that. Any info from Microsoft, any update from this, I will be posting a video here. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.